There's a great new tool in SOLIDWORKS Simulation Professional and Premium that can potentially save us a huge amount of time when running simulations. If you've got objects like the one here that's, that are evolved, or things that are of constant cross-section, then you can potentially do it as a 2D problem. Let's have a look at how we'd set that up. We'll go and create a new study. Here we're just going to use linear statics, but we're going to choose the Use 2D Simplification option. We then get three choices. We can run this as what we call plain stress, which is where you've got an object of constant cross-section but relatively thin, plain strain for things that are thicker or longer, or axisymmetric for things that are evolved like we've got here. We then choose the cross-section through which we're going to slice it, and the axis about which it's going to be revolved. We get a preview so we can choose which side we want to use. And that's created our study and we can see we've now just got a 2D piece of geometry to work with. Looking in our study you can see the, uh, we get different symbols to represent the fact that these are axisymmetric bodies. But other than that the setup's pretty much the same. So we go through creating uh, contact sets, in this case between the rubber seals and the metal body. So we're just going to pick the edges here to do that and choose a no penetration contact between those two. We need to do the same at the top here. We're then going to apply some fixtures. So we're going to fix this geometry at the bottom. And rather than applying a load, I actually want to squash it down by a fixed amount. So I'm going to use an advanced fixture. Pick the edge at the top here and just specify a 10 mil displacement and we can see from the arrows that's going to go up so I just want to reverse it to squash it down. Okay we're almost ready to go. The last thing I want to do because I know the, the main area of interest is where the contact is I'm going to apply some mesh controls in those areas. And we can either select edges, uh, individual points or we can also select the bodies. So we're going to select the two rubber components here. We'll just accept the default values Let's create that mesh to take a look. So we can see how it's nicely refined around the areas uh, where all the action is. So we're now ready to, uh, to run our simulation. So this is a pretty complex contact problem, but we can see that only took around 12 seconds to solve. I want to turn those symbols off to tidy up the screen. A nice thing in 2011 is we can do that with a single click now from the, uh, the drop down menu. And we can see we get exactly the same types of results as we'd have with a 3D study. And we can do things like animate and probe the results. But wouldn't it be great if we could actually see this as a three dimensional plot? All we have to do to do that is right click on the stress and say show as a 3D plot. In the definition of the plot we can choose what percentage of the, uh, the angle we show. We don't have to show uh, a full 360, we can maybe just have uh, half a slice. So we get all the benefits of um, running it quickly as a 2D problem, but we can get all the same kind of results that we would get out of doing it as a 3D. give you an idea of the sort of time savings that you can get from 2D simplification. We've also run the O-ring problem in 3D. Using a complete 360 degree model, you can see the solve time is around 43 minutes. But because it's axisymmetric, we could have run it as just a slice or a wedge from the model. So if we, ch if we chose a 20 degree slice, you can see it still takes around 11 minutes. Running it as a 2D problem, if we chose not to use the mesh refinement that we did a second ago, you can see it will run in just three seconds. But because the seals in this model are made from rubber, we should really be using a non-linear solution and probably a hyperelastic material for the rubber. But doing that, the solve times increase quite a lot and trying to use a 360 degree model is no longer practical. So we have to use a 20 degree slice. But you can see the solution time is still close to three hours. Running it as a 2D problem, it's just 19 seconds. And if we were to go on and apply the same mesh controls that we did a few moments ago, you can see the solution time is still less than a minute. So we've come down from 3 hours to 43 